Saturday the 1st of February, Rotherham United against Burton Albion. But before I make myself uh, to the New York Stadium, I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of Rotherham's former stadium, Millmoor, which is still, as you can see, intact. It's still, it's looking a bit grubby though, with foliage growing out the seats and things. But I just thought I'd uh, let you see. And if you can see in the, in the distance, you can see the New York Stadium. So it's about three or four hundred yards away from uh, our old ground at Millmoor, where most of my personal Rotherham supporting memories were. So, this afternoon's game, it'll be a tough one because Burton are a reasonably good side, even though they've lost Liam Boyce and uh, Templeman in this transfer window, they've still got players like Lewis Aikins and Stephen Quinn that can hurt you. So this is by no means a foregone conclusion for the league leaders. Although Rotherham should be coming into this game with a lot of confidence. So, as I make my way down towards the New York Stadium, I'll see you in the ground. Here come the teams. A filthy, really drizzly, windy South Yorkshire afternoon. Burton all in yellow, as you would expect, and the Millers in the traditional red and white. So, uh, every 15 minute updates, goal flashes, half time and full time summary. Sky Bet League 1, Rotherham against uh, Burton Albion. Goal for um, Burton Albion. The right foot shot uh, at the edge of the box by, J by new signing Jamie Murphy. So, the Miller shot to you, six minutes gone. Rotherham United 0, Burton Albion 1. The Millers did have a chance on two minutes, but Kyle Bissell pulled, pulled a good shot, shot, shot wide when he was well placed. So, uh, the league leaders have got some work on. 1-0 to Burton. Nine minutes gone, an equaliser for the Millers. Michael Smith found himself all alone with about eight or nine yards out and he buried the chance after a bit of hesitant. Burton defending. So with nine minutes on the clock, Rotherham United won, Burton Albion won. Fifteen minutes gone, still 1-1. One, one. And uh, Burton have had three, yes three, chances to retake the lead through Stephen Quinn, uh, Murphy again, and um, yeah, and Aikins, who had a, uh, just had an effort tipped over the bar by Everson. So it's still 1 1 with 15 minutes, but Burton are looking the more, the more uh, dangerous. Just a goal kick there for uh, Burton as a Rotherham attack. So with 15 minutes gone, Rotherham 1, Burton 1. Almost half an hour gone, still Rotherham 1, Burton 1, and Burton is still looking the more likely. Uh, Stephen Quinn, veteran, who was having a storming game in midfield, had hit a shot that Everson tipped over. And um, Lewis Aikins tried to chip Everson from more or less the halfway line, but the keeper were behind it. But just lately, Rotherham seems to be coming into it a little bit more, with Adelaide Cunham having a shot uh, saved by O'Hara, and Matt Crooks heading a chance uh, just over. So it's a very entertaining game, with half an hour gone, Rotherham 1, Burton Albion 1. Half time Rotherham United 1, Burton Albion 1. And if anything, the lead leaders are lucky to be in to go in level, as Burton have been by far the better side. Prompted by Stephen Quinn in midfield and uh, good performances by Jamie Murphy and Louis Aikins. Rotherham have had chances, but there have been half chances. But Rotherham's defence has looked shaky the whole half. So uh, at least they're in the dressing room level pegging at the moment. So half time, Rotherham United won, Burton Albion won. First minute of the second half, Michael Smith scores his second goal for Rotherham from a Dambalasa corner. So with 46 minutes on the clock, Rotherham 2, Burton Albion 1. Almost immediately, 47 minutes on the clock, Burton Albion equalised. 
Oliver Sarkic scored uh, with a good drive from just outside the box. So yeah, just started the second half, it's 2-2. And now we're gone, still Rotherham 2, with uh, Burton 2. It's still end-to-end -end exciting game, but uh, to be honest, Burton still slightly the better of the two sides, but Rotherham have got a corner. Well, nothing's come of it so far. Michael Smith. Oh. And Burton are clean and clear it. So, yeah, on the hour, Rotherham 2, Burton Albion 2. Rotherham back in front. Ready ladder for the substitute. A brilliant move started by Ogbenry. Pulled back into the area and Ladapo finished with a good shot. So, it's not really what Rotherham deserve. Because Burton have been the better side, but. With 70 minutes on the clock, Rotherham 3, Burton Albion 2. Last, last of the four minutes of injury time, and Rotherham still leading 3 2. And that's the final whistle. I'm not sure whether the home side deserved it, but the three points keep them at the top of the table. exciting second half. So, uh, yeah, Rotherham still on 53 points now at the top of the table. So the Millers 3, the Brewers 2.